This fucking week. Oh my god. Where okay. do we even begin? Probably with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I I was thinking we begin at, you know, America lost a whole night's plane. That's coming. It's coming. No, so well, someone in the chat, I forget who it was, says uh, she was screaming someone's name three times. That's for sure. Um, what? You don't know about this? No. Lauren Bobert, you don't oh. know about this? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Took you a moment. For, for those of you who are stumbling upon this recording later, is locked in amber as it is here on the YouTubes. This week, Colorado Congressional Representative Lauren Boebert. Not my district. <laughs> I didn't vote for her. Um, went to a production, a family musical production, an adaptation of the the whimsical Tim Burton's Bachel Juice. And uh was caught on camera. Um, well, let's see. First he's knocking him off. Then he's honking her. Ooh, la, la. And she's blowing a vape. Then she's singing the songs. I'm Mr. Brightside. Um, it, it. And the audience just cranking his hog while <laughs> she, he's, he's just over there adjusting the headlights. Um, and smoking a vape indoors and screaming. And like hmm? Blowing this and like blowing the smoke on people at a pregnant woman. Who said, could you not do that? And she gave her name. And of course, the theater people had to escort her out. She tried to pull, do you know who I am? Which, if you've ever tried, if you ever had a position where you say, do you know who I am? You've already lost. That's, that's that, it. I mean, is there anything sadder? So then we had video, night vision video. Just the whole thing start to finish. And I want to point out, because... Her 18-year-old son has knocked up, what is it, a 15-year-old? Um, and they're getting married. That meant on Saturday morning, all over social media, where the video of this occurred, that meant technically we were all treated to grandma porn. We should also point out, like, she, I think she's getting divorced right now. <laughs> yep. And and that guy was like the new guy she's seeing. The husband she's divorcing mm. has a criminal record for exposing himself to minors. So, well, they had that. I guess that that's some couples are drawn together by what they have in common. So, each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And yes, Have you ever lost your car? The mall? Yeah. You feel kind of, kind of, kind of insane for a little bit there. You're like, no, it was fucking here somewhere. Now, let's extrapolate that upward a touch. Um, a, a little bit. By, uh, say, instead of losing your, uh, your, uh, 20, $30,000 entry level Honda Kia or Kia Honda, whatever. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. Uh, Those are two completely different car manufacturers. They shut up. It's, it's a, it's a, a Fiat or something. I don't know. Here, instead of, Something like that. Let's extrapolate it up a little bit to, oh, I don't know, a $1.6 billion F-35. This is in my, this is literally flew over my fucking house. Oh, they found debris 
that's <clears throat> that's more than I knew about. So what happened was while flying the F-35 from Charleston Air Force Base, which is also very nearby me. So quite often I hear these fucking jets going in at full fucking throttle. I can only imagine these assholes up there thinking they're like, you know, Tom Cruise, Lou Gossett Jr. and shit, just gunning it over my fucking house. So I, I, I feel a little, a little vindicated by the fact that, uh, um, they lost an F-35. It went missing Sunday or the Charleston. Um, a whole ass plane. An entire, an F-35, which is a boondoggle of a plane, considering how much money has been dumped into it and how it still doesn't completely work right. Th- that. I don't know if you knew about this, the F-35. It's the most advanced fighter jet America's ever produced, and the fucker still doesn't work right. Well, this was one of Dan's pet rants, because every time people balked at cutting the military budget, he was like, you have no idea how over budget this stupid plane has been. Like, we could have solved every problem in the world Mm -hmm. for what it has cost to have a plane that still doesn't work. Like, if you want to talk about sunk cost, Holy shit, the F-35. Um, well, the pilot ejected, and then they just didn't know. And I'm like, don't y'all lojack those motherfuckers? It wound up on the Lost Island where there's no radio signal. Like, if there's something was that fucking expensive, I'd at least put, like, an Apple AirTag on the motherfucker, right? Right? Be out there in the woods with my fucking phone out. Like, I think it's over here. But also consider, like, the the most popular theory I've heard is that the pilot bailed out and the plane just kept flying. For however long. Which, you know what? Good on the plane. Take some, take some uh, agency, some initiative in your life. So when you live your, you be your best you, F-35. Like, we already, we have a shortage of air traffic controllers. Mm -hmm. We have way too many planes in the air at any given time. And today, we just had a fucking plane without a pilot living its best life. (laughs) That's very concerning to me. And the thing was, they were, okay, they were literally asking people to call in and say, have you seen this plane? Just little flyers on all the telephone poles. Have you seen this plane? What is it? Merca. Fucking hell. I, I love how nobody in nobody had the wherewithal to go, you know, maybe we shouldn't make it seem like we're completely fucking incompetent here. What? No. I mean, what do you do, though? Like, you can't just not tell people. Why not? Because it could have crashed in your front yard. And then that would have been worse. Like, hell, do you know how much money I would get out of that? No, I mean from like a PR standpoint. Be great for me. Fuck yeah. Yeah. What, you want to knock out my chain link fence anything. and my blueberries? Then cool. When it falls on somebody in somebody's backyard pool. It's a whole fucking thing. Well, it wouldn't because we don't have backyard pools because we have too high of a water table. Ha! Ah. All right. Well, now <laughs> you're being pedantic. <laughs> I know that I know that Twitter is going to start charging money, but don't start doing that shit here. Because <laughs> I will go on strike. Hmm. Well, it's 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 the popular thing to do these days. I know everybody's doing it. I will Literally, go on everybody's until doing. I am not actually that anymore. <laughs> How, yeah, this was in. This was. I literally could have found the fucking plane, like. This weird ass version of Stand By Me. Yeah. Instead of going look for a body, four boys go and find a multi billion dollar boondoggle of an airplane. They should do that reboot. 
Uh, well, see that movie. Going completely the other direction. Still plane related. Uh, God damn it. I don't want to be one of the olds going, are you fucking kids? And this literally, this does not simply apply to social media here, so I have to remind myself of that. But still, my crotchety level is rising just reading this story because I'm like, oh, oh, sweet. What, what do you, what the fuck? What in the entire, how dare you? Woman rants about being Instagram famous amid outbursts on plane. Ew. What? Ew. Ew? Uh, that that, that kind of sums it up for me, too. I mean, we're off to a bad start because she already looks like you bought Kim Kardashian on Wish. <laughs> God damn! <sighs> okay, yeah. yeah. Here we go. On, quote, Instagram famous woman who's been identified as influencer Morgan Osmond was caught on camera arguing with passengers on an airplane while removing her luggage from the overhead compartment. It's currently unknown how this incident started or why she was removing her luggage and verbally fighting with fellow passengers. The footage was filmed on an American Airlines flight, according to the Daily Mail. 20 second video clip posted on Twitter. A woman can be seen arguing with another person was standing in the aisle. Call me a bitch again, she says, as the passenger filming her laughs at the verbal flight fight unfolding in front of the uh, seated audience. Call me a bitch again. I did nothing wrong. No, you shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, bitch. The woman then turns down the aisle towards the front of the plane, spots a passenger filming her. Film me, she says to the passenger. I'm Instagram famous, you fucking bum. Video went viral. Morgan Osmond has identified herself as a pastor on the plane. Um, I didn't get kicked off the plane, she wrote. I asked to leave instead of turning violent. Thank you. Really? Okay. I, I, I was not kicked off. I decided to leave. They didn't fire me. I quit. Now, look, I realize this could happen in, I mean, you could have fucking a, no, a local weathercaster could do this same kind of shit. This is not simply, you know, a social media thing. However, it's in more embarrassing when it's a social media thing, because. I do want to point out okay. for um, all her bragging. Uh-huh. Bitch is flying coach. She is. Like I've, I have in my silly bullshit here, I was recognized by a pilot once, which scared the shit out of me because I'm like, a pilot shouldn't be watching this show. I was on a plane. He's like, Hey, I know you, this is the radio dead air. It's like, Oh no. Are you, are you actually flying? The, you're, you're the one flying. You're the, you're oh the, God. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, shit. But. Even then, my I have never been like, you know, I, I think I've I've only ever in my life like flown first class a couple times. That's because I was bumped up. You know, I've I've never been out there like buying the first class ticket. I am I am, you know, lower middle class the whole way. Lower middle class is what poor people say when they don't want us to people to know they're poor. <laughs> anyway. I have never been out there like, oh, hey, do you know me? I fuck it on the internet. I make videos on the fucking internet. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. I mean, you, obviously, if you're watching, you obviously give a shit. It's nice to have you here. It's lovely to have you here. But everybody else I've is just... I've been recognized a few times working Comic-Con, and I'm always a little surprised because I forget that people can see this. Kind of, like, in real life. Like, obviously, I see the chat and I see the comments and everything, but some part of my brain doesn't connect that those are all human people. <laughs> so I got recognized working my job at Starbucks. I got recognized a couple times at Comic-Con, and I'm always a little surprised. Like, when people are like, oh, my God, you're a terror. And I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, at Starbucks, I legit thought they were reading my name tag. <laughs> 
And then I was like, oh no, oh, right. No, it's, it's, I, maybe I'm not, I'm not saying here I'm like, oh, I'm humble over there. I, I, I just, it's not that it doesn't go to my head. It's that this is ridiculous what I'm doing here. It's kind of a miracle I'm able to make some sort of a living at it. Yeah. It's still ridiculous. But then think about the fact that people like her are famous for doing so much less. Yeah. Like, at least we exchange witticisms. There are people that, that are famous do? for literally just going in interesting places. I wonder if I could get away with that. And they're like so much more famous. That would that would be an interesting career to have. I just go around and make model face at things. I also just because this is the kind of thing that I look at, like I know that I'm an old mini when I say this, okay? I'm still mad that you can't go out and buy a decent slip anymore, especially when dresses are now universally unlined. Proper undergarments are a fucking thing. And if you're gonna wear a cat suit of not very thick material. Don't wear the lumpiest bra you fucking own. I can tell she's wearing no underwear because of how thin that cat suit material is. But don't wear the lumpiest fucking bra you own. Look in the mirror before you leave your house. And if you're lumpy, change it. The, the sheer audacity to think you could start some shit over this. Fucking Instagram. I'm mean, on Instagram. I'll be honest, like, you know, I'm still on TikTok. The second someone I'm following is like, I've decided to quit my job to become a full-time content creator. I unfollow them. I think I've said this before because it's just downhill from there. Yeah. Well, speaking of someone who became famous on Instagram, um... Someone today became very famous on Instagram. Um, it was a bear. <laughs> a Disney World bear? Wild bear breaks into Disney World, wreaks havoc in the Magic Kingdom. Just let him ride the rides. <laughs> Disney theme parks are a fantastic place to visit, whether you're single or have a family of 15. From Magic Kingdom and Epcot to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom, there's no end in sight to the fun and magic the guests can experience. <sighs> However, the main draw of the most magical place on Earth is, of course, all the rides and attractions. Come on, get to it. Unfortunately, none of this matters. Talk about padding your word count. No yes. shit. None of this matters that the rides themselves are closed. It actually tends to happen quite often. I just keep just, just, just padding it out. Get to the bear! Ten attractions are closed at Magic Kingdom as a result. Is this like fucking AI? Did fucking AI write this? Jesus. Um, ten attractions are closed at Magic Kingdom as a result of a major outage. Outages are quite common. The specific example is quite unbelievable. The outage is reportedly the result of a wild bear running loose inside the Magic Kingdom. Spotting a wild bird, lizard, or snake is fairly common. Oh, come on! Get back to the bear! <laughs> How can you be writing an article about a bear in Disney World and just you can't get back to the fact there's a bear in Disney World? I swear this is this I swear this is fucking um AI. This has to be. Whoever sure, fucking because this is a blog, it's the same thing as like why if you just want to get a recipe, you have to read about their entire family history with apples. Because the longer you stay on the website, the more they get paid from their ads. So they got to waste your fucking time. This poor bear. Like. I don't know how. The, like, of course, they have a bunch of trash. They have a bunch of stuff that will attract a bear. That makes sense. But I don't think the bear quite understood what it was in for. It's like, this smells good. Wait, what the fuck? You're there with your family. Okay. There's, there's, a, you go into the rides, and whatnot. Please excuse us for the interruption, but we have to close the park because there's a fucking bear. And what do you do about that? 
<laughs> like, I feel like Disney is pretty much has a plan for every scenario. Like, if aliens landed at the Magic Kingdom, I feel like they'd have an action plan. Really? Yeah. They're a fucking machine. They're their own nation. They're prepared for shit we've never even thought of. But I don't know that Bear is actually on that list. Can you imagine, like, a guy in a Mickey in a goofy outfit trying to wrangle a fucking grizzly? It's like, like not getting paid enough for this. In this weirdly adorable Jurassic Park scenario. Do you send, like, the country bear animatronics out? For peace talks? Um, CNN affiliate. Do you one of the princesses can tame him and have him put a ribbon in her hair? CNN affiliate WESH show the bear was captured in a wooded area Near the Magic Kingdom's It's a Small World ride. <laughs> yeah, that probably drove... I don't even know why that's funny, but it is. That probably drove the bear off. I mean, Jesus Christ. You want to you scare the fucking bear out of there to start playing the fucking music? I... It's like... It's not something that happens. It, it almost feels like a glitch, right? Yeah. Merida. Thank you, Shiny Z. That's what you do. You send in Merida. She's dealt with the shit before. She just had another fight with her mom, apparently. All of a sudden, bear. Like You don't expect that on your vacation. You don't play Bethesda mom. You don't play Bethesda game. Um, like Skyrim and whatnot. There's been a long history of, of, of modding, adding stuff to the game. It's not supposed to be there. Mainly, it's tits. But sometimes someone will, like, change, you know, the dragons in Skyrim to Thomas the Tank Engine. So you have Thomas the fucking Tank Engine coming out of the goddamn sky to attack you with the music. Dun, 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 dun. You know, the, the fucking... You can do that? You can do that. That's what this feels like. It feels like someone modded Disney World and now there's a fucking bear. Used to be Pluto. <laughs> we swapped it out with a bear. <sighs> the fuck? Like, do you get a refund for the fucking bear? Or are they going to be like, no, sorry, all sales are final. It's a bear! Yeah, well, if you'll read your terms and conditions, then say shit about bears. Nope, yeah, that's a good question. What is a bear doing down in Florida? Um, well, those the, the bears are all over the area in the southeast. Do they have bears there? We have bears here, and we're not that much difference of a temperature from Florida. We have big black bears here. They're they're like. God, we have to think of Florida as a bear place. They have bears. We have bears all over down here. We have black bears and they're like goddamn tanks. With like, it's like you th put a throw rug over a tank and that's what a bear is. Let's get something, something more in our wheelhouse. God help us. Um, I'd like to think there was a plan here. There probably wasn't. Quite likely there was not, but I'd like to think. Pantsless man rams pickup in Fort Myers pharmacy steals $3,000 worth of drugs. Well, there you go. That was the plan. A man wearing only a shirt used a pickup truck to ram his way into a Fort Myers pharmacy. So he was Winnie the Pooh in it. Although, yeah. you know, he's a 36-year-old man. Um, the man was working with his full moon exposed. The only moonlight, only moonlight illuminating his way early Sunday morning. Security cameras outside the family pharmacy and medical supply on Six Mile Cypress Parkway captured the man around 4.45 a.m. He was arrested. Aaron Eichbauer, uh, 36, using fingerprint data to link him to the crime. Security camera videos, you can see Eichbauer 
uh, use the tools to try to get through the glass wall on the side of, use tools to try to get through the glass wall on the side of the pharmacy. When that failed, he turned to the Dodge Ram pickup truck he brought with him, ramming his way into the building. So there was a plan. It failed. So he's just like, well, fuck it. We're going to go with truck. I mean, uh, they do call it a Dodge Ram. That's. I, oh, my God. I found I found his uh, his mugshot. This this definitely looks like someone who uh, was was raiding a pharmacy for drugs. Um, just the fact he's like, "Hey, mom, I'm on TV. Let me send you. Let me send it over to you." Uh, yeah, you've got. Oh, you've already got it. it. I'm in jail. <laughs> just look at the like. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Is is this gonna be on Instagram? Fuck. Um. Once inside, Ike Bauer was accused of stealing $3,000 of prescription drugs from the pharmacy. That's in addition to the roughly $10,000 worth of damage done to the side of the building. Our police also say the truck he used to break into the building was reported stolen out of Cape Coral. Um, uh, Andrea Pacini, uh, who's this? Um, Using technology, <laughs> detectives were able to link Ike Bauer to the crime. Well, he had quite a night, Bassini said. Yeah. <laughs> Fingerprints were already in system. Arrest records in Lee County shows being arrested at least 15 times with charges ranging from drug offenses to theft and even domestic violence. Remains so in this Lee is a winner. Remains in the Lee County jail on $72,000 bond. You'd think when you're in the midst of a crime and you don't have pants on, you'd be like, maybe I should get pants first. It's best if you're going to do crime to do pants first. I just... I, maybe maybe put on some shorts before committing any more crime today. This, this is... Why? What? Because drugs, I assume. Is now look, I have done some drugs. Which drug is this? I don't know this drug. This drug and I are not acquainted. I think we both know which drug it is. I mean it's Florida. It is. It is. What's like the official state drug of Florida? Like, I mean, if you're going to be intending to go through glass, maybe pants yeah. on. I don't even like the just the idea of like shrapnel shards of glass finding their way into Wee Willy Winky. You know, like they make glass sex toys for women, and the idea, I guess, is that glass conducts heat so they warm up and they're supposedly very well made every time i look at one i just think glass splinters you know no thank you it's just <laughs> obvious man dude you can steal a pickup truck you can break into a, a... why it sounds like you could do such so much better with yourself. You have, you can take initiative, even while on drugs. You can take initiative. I feel but like he can't put on pants. He needs to. I feel and like that could be the thing that's holding him back in life. Maybe he could turn it around. Maybe, maybe he just. You know, like most better career options do require pants. Maybe he just needs boxer briefs. He can turn it around. That's all he needs. Just someone to believe in him. And give him some underwear. That's... You know, it doesn't even have to be pants, bro. You can wear a skirt. If you want, if you want to feel skirt, it swinging yeah. in the breeze, yeah. you can wear a skirt. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But you gotta, you gotta have some type of cloth. You do. Covering the nooks and crannies. Well, next up, quite often, we, we see these stories and we're like, I can't believe it was worth it. 
what you with the shit you pulled off. I can't believe what you've done here was was re- really worth the consequences. This is probably the biggest one I've ever seen that felt like was this really worth the shit you're going to be going through for for the next years of your life? Was it really worth this? Man pleads to AK-47 threat over pizza pie. Gun wielded at Little Caesars. But not even good pizza. The Tennessee man has pled guilty to pointing an AK-47 at Little Caesars employees because his $6 pepperoni pizza was taking too long to cook. Now, I don't know how far, I, I think Canada has Little Caesars. I don't know how far in other parts of the world. I know England doesn't. Little Caesars pizza is the worst pizza. Yeah. It is the worst fast food pizza of them all. It is garbage. Somehow the crazy Papa John's bread. might be worse. No, no, no. Little Caesars is worse than Papa John's. The crazy bread somehow is awesome. The, 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 the Little Caesars crazy bread, that's great. The pizzas themselves, you and the bathroom have an appointment once you do once you do the Little Caesars. Six dollars. So six dollars for a reason. Yeah. They they just cook them and leave them hot sitting there for six bucks. In a plea deal, Charles Doty, 64, agreed last month to cop to his dangerous gunplay at a restaurant in Knoxville. He's charged with multiple felony counts, is scheduled to be sentenced on September 29th. As a result of uh, his blind plea, Lanks Manor sentence uh, will be solely determined by a criminal court judge. Police say he became incensed after being told that his pizza would take 10 minutes to prepare. Demanded a free order of Little Caesar's crazy bread before briefly leaving the restaurant, which is about five miles from his residence. When he returned, he was carrying an AK-47, which he first pointed at a female worker who was on her first day at the job while demanding his order. When another employee sought to leave the restaurant, Dodie asked where in the hell he thought he was going. Staffer went to a back room. You were going to lose that first day girl dealing with the gun guy? Fuck you. Fuck you. In a bid to get him to leave Little Caesars, a female customer had received her order, handed him her own pepperoni pie, and then fled the restaurant before Knoxville police officers arrived. Subsequently arrested and charged with aggravated kidnapping and aggravated assault. You are going to jail over a $6 pizza. Okay, now... Of the fast food pizzas, I would potentially go to jail for Mellow Mushroom. It's very good. Um, uh, Godfather's, very good. Of of the uh, the fast food pizzas, I'm not talking like like a pizza you get from like a real uh, you know, a restaurant. I'm talking like the fast food franchises. Um, w- I would have I would go to jail for 1980s Pizza Hut. But not for 2020's Pizza Hut. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. The shit's different now. Used to be places you went in and sat down. And they were awesome. I would go to jail. And your personal pan pizza came in a fucking skillet that was molten. I would would go to jail for uh, showbiz pizza, but just for the nostalgia factor. Just for the nostalgia factor. Yes. I don't this know. This is a fascinating glimpse in your sight. It is. It is. I wouldn't even go to jail for good pizza. Really? No, because it's jail. That's true. That is, uh, yeah, that is, that is a point. You have a good point. There's no fucking pizza there. Yeah, that's a good point. That's an excellent point. <laughs> but my God. And I love pizza. I'm a New Yorker. I also want to point out an AK 47 is not a cheap piece of hardware that that's a couple hundred dollars right there that's why he had to buy the six dollar pizza like he can't afford good pizza now or you can just not buy the super expensive guns and get good pizza and not go to jail 
But then how would people know he's a man? <laughs> the fucking hell. Over five. Like, when I read where this was, I was just like. Like, you could. You could have just stayed home and drank so like. like they said 10 minutes. Not like your shitty pizza is going to take two hours. You could have stayed home and just like ate raw potatoes and laxatives and you would have got the same effect as a Little Caesars. But raw potatoes and laxatives are more expensive than a $6 pizza. That's true. Just the box of laxatives probably costs yeah. more. Wow, horrifying to think about. We're, yeah, if, if, so if if you really need laxatives, don't 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 go get X lax. Just go get little. Seeds. Look, Taco Bell has a dollar menu. Okay, uh, we are never getting a sponsorship on this fucking show. Never ever fucking get a sponsorship. <laughs> Anything. Oh, uh, last one tonight. It's Walmart, and it's stupid. And of course, it's us. What the fuck is it with people fucking stealing construction equipment? What is this? Suspect steals excavator in Gainesville, drives into Walmart. Just ran. Oh, look at that picture. Yeah. Just ram that fucker right into the automotive section. Why? Yeah, there's, there's some more pictures down here. Let me see. Uh, get a bigger, bigger shot here. Over on Twitter. Come on, open the picture. There we go. Yeah, that's. That is not. That is a. That is a thing going on. Um. Suspects in custody after the Gainesville Police Department said an excavator was stolen and driven into a Walmart. Incident happened at Walmart on uh, Southwest 42nd Street. Suspects stole a large excavator and took it on a joyride, managing to take down a few power poles. Suspect then drove the construction equipment through the wall of the Walmart. Suspect also drove through a storage unit on the uh, Southwest 40th Boulevard. There's a picture of that, too. Where is it? You go away. I don't need you. See, but again, they don't tell you why. No idea why. What brought you to this point, sir? No injuries were reported in either incident. What the fuck? Yeah, there's no explanation here. There's just one day. Well, look, there's an excavator. I've always wanted to drive one of those. My dad drove one of those. I don't think it's easy. That was a storage unit. That is not a storage unit anymore. Holy crap. That thing is done. Like, what was the goal? I don't, I don't get it. Took out a bunch of power poles, crashed into the Walmart. Did, did you think you could go through the Walmart? Because that, maybe he thought he could get into the Walmart and use the arm thing to just steal a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's not going to work. So and if you can't control the actual vehicle, I promise you, you cannot control that arm. What in the entire fuck were you fucking thinking? Doesn't say it just, yeah, it doesn't say uh, how old the guy was, doesn't say what his name was, just. No injuries reported. This happened. What has happened to journalism? Right. I ask you. Right. Who, what, when, where, why? I was a journalism minor. It is drilled into your fucking gray matter. You know what else is? Speaking of that Disney story, a thing we call the inverted pyramid, which is like the big important facts go first. And then you can increase your level of bullshit as you go down. Right. That's how the, the important shit yeah. first. 
And every week, people that do not know the simple rules, and it frustrates me. Like, mother, f- mother, why? Because, again, this just sounds like, you know, a video game glitch. Yeah. Somebody's going to say GTA is an LARP. GTA doesn't even have excavators. Because they don't go fast. They don't. You're not running from anybody in that motherfucker. <laughs> You're like, I, I don't. It, it's, it's so frustrating for me. Because th- the fact that it doesn't make any sense. But the consequences are like, you're going to jail. You're going to be s- sued. You money. You, you are going to be in debt for an amazing I'm like, You're going to die in debt for shit like this. It's Walmart. Like this is the equivalent of driving an excavator through a Death Star. And not destroying it. You know, like what it's you- Walmart. They're the they're going to dis- they're going to annihilate you. You know, what just occurred to me. This this is breaking my brain. You could do this. You could steal that excavator. You could smash a bunch of power poles, go through a storage building, crash into a Walmart, go to jail, be sued over this, declare bankruptcy, and in seven years, this is behind you. But if you have to have your appendix out, You're fucked. Yeah. Or if you have a student loan, it's easier to get rid of the debt from destroying a Walmart than it is from a student loan. Do with that what you will, kids. We're not telling you You to destroy a Walmart. With that perspective, I'm kind of wondering why more people aren't crashing into Walmarts, honestly. (sighs) If they start now, we had nothing to do with it. That's that's what we learned this week. We've learned that in a mere seven years, you can get out of debt for destroying a Walmart, but not if uh, you need a hip replacement. So, Or an education. Yeah. It's easier to destroy a Walmart than to get an education in America. God damn. That is dark. That's fucking dark. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Oh, God. It's because I have no other, nothing else I can do. That's right. Okay. Um, we've learned if you're going to go to jail for something, $6 pizza is not the thing. Make that shit worth it. Right? Like, this is just a felony shit. This is not, they're not playing around with that. But also, don't point fucking guns at people. What? No, that's crazy. Um, hey, we've learned if you're going to attempt to steal pre- prescription drugs by crashing through a glass wall in a pickup truck, pants, maybe, maybe pants. Because they've got to book you, is the thing. That's just maybe that's a very specific kink. Yeah, yeah, that's just no, thank you. Yeah, we've learned sometimes you can go to Disney World and there's a bear, and it's not it's not the one at the jamboree. Look, it's the fucking end of days. The Matrix is glitching. It is. Anything can happen. Someone found a cheat code. That's what happened. Um, we've learned if you have to tell people you're famous on Instagram, something has gone wrong in your life. And also, you're not that famous, actually. You're not. If you have to tell people you're famous, you're not famous. And finally, we've learned the Air Force apparently has no way to find billion dollar jets so if you've got a little bit of gumption and you know how to hotwire there's an opportunity for you 